me explain today how this steam engine works. I give you a lot of detailed information today. First of all, the heating of the whole uh, boiler happens here in this on the grid. One starts with normally with wood, add some charcoal, uh, which is used for steam locomotives, which has some content of sulfur. And then finally one adds also anthracite coal, which is full of carbon, it's, so it's one, almost 100% carbon. The mixture of both will allow a nice uh, burning. The ash is taken out on the bottom. Option for the burning process, you can use this paraffin burner, which is coming from a field kitchen. It was adapted. It has two burner insides. One was only used the right valve here for heating up the boiler. Uh, the whole construct is finally put into the opening of the boiler here and uh, fixed. And then you can heat it up to easily 75 psi or 100 psi. The tank for the whole supply of this. Uh, burner is a 25 liter tank. With this tank you can go for about 14 hours full speed. Now we come to the generation of scheme. steam. Uh, normally I go up with the steam to 75 psi and uh, safety valves here, one and two, they are in double. They release the pressure normally at 100 psi for security reasons. Anyhow, the steam here is for, uh, goes this way through the tubing here and goes into the machine in the Stuart 5A and uh, it drives in of course the piston and it leaves the cylinder, goes this way into the condenser and in the condenser there's a coil where water flows into the tank. So the the exhaust uh, heats up the water which is going into the boiler. Anyhow, the it cooled exhaust here after condensation goes up this pipe into the stack and leaves it at the bottom, uh, at the top, sorry. In order to measure the back pressure, I have a manometer here installed in the line to the condenser and with the valve here I tr can adjust it in such a way that uh, at a certain back pressure this manometer shows that the condenser is full of water and then I have to open this valve here and the overflow goes, the condensate goes into a self-made uh, oil separator it has internally a fabric made of polyethylene and uh, the cleaned water without oil which is kept here in the fabric the cleaned water goes via this tube the overflow into the hot well and the hot well collects the water and uh, takes is also a reservoir for the water which is pumped by the machine into the uh, boiler. Let's come to the water circuit. Um, the Stuart 5A has a water pump linked to an extender and it goes in and out and water is sucked through um, a, a pipe here at the bottom directly takes the water from the tank here it is sucked through the pump it is distributed in two ways one it goes back one way it goes back here into the tank as a sort of overflow if you don't need it in the boiler and then the other way it goes this way through the condenser and ends up via this valve into the boiler so with this pump you can easily uh, pump water from the hot well into the boiler. Important is now that in the position where the piston is in, the crank here from the top coming down with the piston 
is at the bottom, exactly at the bottom, when this piston of the water pumps is in the inner position. This allows a quite uh, equilibrated uh, pumping and the machine uh, runs very uh, soft and without any knocking. Now a few words to the oiling of the machine. We have first of all here a displacement oiler which is uh, also triggered by some steam coming out from the steam chest here into this tank. It pushes oil into the engine. There's a second uh, mechanical oiler linked to an extender and uh, here an internal piston after running or during running of the machine pumps oil via this tubing into the uh, uh, gears in the, at a certain positions in the machine. Uh, inner side and uh, the overflow of oil can be uh, guided via this valve back into the tank of the oiler. So uh, with this trick you have a adjustable oil supply. On the other hand you have on the top uh, in another oiler, it's for maintenance reason, you put oil on the cup after running and you open the valve and then the oil goes directly into the cylinder and keeps it um, oiled and prevents rust formation. So you can open and close it uh, depending on your needs. These small cocks here are drain cocks which are used at the beginning of the, pr uh, uh, of the process uh, when you start the engine. Normally it's full of, uh, of condensed water and this has to be get out f during the first cycles otherwise it can uh, uh, damage the mechanics. So this drain and condensed water goes through the types down in a sink here and on the other hand I have a, a drop catcher which collects dripping of uh, water and uh, guides it also in this uh, tank here. This prevents that the dripping uh, falls on this gear and will wash the oil away which is not good and is against good lubrication. We have also a reverse level linked to the machine here where you can uh, turn the direction or change the direction of the machine from forward to backward. Important is that you need a certain pressure on the machine otherwise the flowing water under the hull of the uh, boat will push uh, the, um, the prop and this prevents um, a change of the direction. So you need higher pressure to do this in reality. On tabletop machine you see it quite often that it works very easily also under low pressure but in this case when the boat is already running on the water uh, the water pushes against the prop and prevents it somehow from reversing easily. So put some more pressure and then uh, use the reverse lever. How is it possible to get water into the um, boiler. One is using the, as mentioned before, the steward driven uh, water pump here. The second possibility is this hand pump linked to the hot well. It pumps it directly into the boiler. The third possibility is this pump. This pump is linked directly to the bottom of the hull so it takes the water directly from uh, the lake. And the fourth possibility is a Penberthy steam injector, as he shown here. Uh, the hot steam is coming from the boiler, goes into the Penberthy. And during this process it sucks water up, to th uh, up through this pipe here into the Penberthy. The water comes from this uh, tubing here hanging out in the lake. This can be used especially if the boat stops, has a full stop, so no driven uh, 
water pump at the machine but standing here just with pressure you suck water into this penworthy and then this is pressurized with higher even higher pressure than the internal pressure of the boiler and goes directly at the bottom here into the boiler so you have really four possibilities to supply water to the boiler and all against the pressure uh, of the boiler.